So, I was asked to do a quick video on how to connect to an IRC server over the Tor network. And for that you need two pieces of the software first. And that is the Tor package. Um, to um, start a Tor proxy. And then you also need Hexchat as an IRC client. Both of these softwares are also available on Windows. You can just download them from the official sites um, on the system. As you can see, I had both of them already installed, but yeah, just install those two packets um, from your package manager. And After that you need to start Tor, which is already running on my system. But you can do it like this. You can also enable uh, the auto start of it with um, system CTL um, enable. So Tor starts um, when your system starts. But let's just do that. Um, on Windows, you can just um, start the Tor executable, and the Tor um, proxy should be running then. All we have to do now is to start Hexjet. And as you can see, we are already connected now, because I had auto-connect on. But let's disconnect for, for a second. Let me close this window. So in your case, um, you will likely not have um, this um, this Tor I, uh, IRC network um, added here already. For that, you can just add a network, and then you will be prompted with um, these settings. At the top, you can just um, enter the dot onion domain slash the port the server is running on and in my case you will also want to connect to the um, network automatically our IRC server does not support SSL connections so just don't use it and the public channels are um, general and malware so you can choose to connect to these automatically as well. So in my case, when I hit connect, that should work already. As you can see, I am connected already. But for you, that um, you first need to go here to um, settings, preferences, and then under network you have to um, set up a server, uh, a proxy server, and the default settings for the Tor proxy are um, of course a local host and the default port is uh, 9050, and it's also a SOX5 proxy. After that is configured, um, the DNS requests will be sent over Tor and you can find the .onion domain and can connect to it. And yeah, if you are in here then you can just type and chat with others. I hope that has covered all the questions.